All right, so three by five, um, 80%, five oh eight. so we're gonna be round up to 510, but last deadlifts for the five, we already did do the 510 straight through three by five. So now we are gonna be adding on a little bit more weight to that last set. And um, I'm not really nervous. It's just one of those days where I really fucking do not feel like doing this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, I just feel really, really fucking tired. And that's usually how the story of my life goes on the Tuesdays. I've said it a million times, just coming off of that Monday, you know, being here till like fucking 3, 4 a.m. recording content, you know, so having to go home after that, I have editing to do. Like, I always just wake up feeling fucking tired on Tuesdays, but it's usually not a problem because my body's gotten used to it. But like today, especially, I do have, like, I do have some Tuesdays like today where I just feel especially tired, so. Uh, we're just gonna try to fight through that shit and just uh, have a good lift. Remember to focus on uh, staying tight throughout the whole movement. So kind of splitting off that ground, but not just letting up when we see the weight start to move off the ground. You know, staying tight throughout that whole movement, making it more fluid, less choppy. Uh, so you just gotta wake the fuck up, focus on what we need to, and just get it done. No Ryan again today. I don't think he's gonna be here. Because I got here a little bit late today. So he would usually be here by now. Never say never though, but I don't know. I might have to check on him. This might be the start to my new arc, dude. A little, little Ryan, Ryan retrieval mission. It's not such a bad thing, though. You know, that Ryan, upcoming Ryan Retrieval arc uh, will give us something to train for. So this will allow us to fight through the drowsiness, fight through the tiredness, fucking attack this shit, walk out of the gym better, stronger, more prepared for the Ryan Retrieval arc. So yeah, that would be today's motivation. And I already feel more awake, you know, like. I'm feeling good now, I'm feeling good. Really? With a trash can literally right there? Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Could never be me. You know what I mean? I, I feel like I'm too much of a respectable uh, gym bro. Um, to be able to do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Bye. Fuck you. Anyways, get on that next weight. Um, I don't know, man. I kind of got to the gym late and I had some B dubs the other day, dude. Some like crazy hot shit. So like, I then mix that with today's pre-workout, bro. I was in the bathroom for a lot longer than I needed to be. So I don't want to be at the gym for too too long. And I still have the whole entire like back workout after deadlifts, you know, because we're on that power building, power building shit. So I think I'm gonna kind of rush the warm up and just uh, 
go plate by plate all the way up to like I think I'm really fucking tempted to just like because after 405 would be 495 I'm really tempted to do this do the 405 and then just pit on the fucking 510 bro and do the the first set um and also that would give me more time to search for Ryan, you know? I mean, get started on that arc early as well. Yeah, we're feeling good enough, you know, off of, like I said, having that buff from just being like, I need to get stronger for the sake of saving my boy, you know, because it's been two days and he's still not here. So we got to go retrieve him, retrieve him. I'm so amped up. I'm fumbling over my fucking words. But yeah, you know, we got enough motivation. Shit's already feeling so good, dude. So I'm going to put on this 405. And then, uh. Go like fucking straight into the 510 pounds off of this. You know what time it is. I've been waiting all fucking day for this, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh, that fucking rub down a Barbella, bro. I'm. It was worth waiting all day. Yeah, we're gonna go straight into that 510. So, I mean, I was gonna go up to 495 for the last warm up, but if you think about it, it's not really a point if I'm going up to 510, right? So, like, this would just be uh, one plate and then fucking uh, a five and a 2.5. So, we should be fine. I might just feel a little bit rough for that first set, but that's it. It shouldn't be like undoable or fucking cause an injury or some shit. All right, get on that. First set, 510 pounds, going right into it, man. Like I said, should be fine. Not too far off of what we were about to do for warm-up anyways, that being 405 or 495. Just should be a, feel a little bit rough, but not anything crazy. To be honest, the only thing that was a little rough about that was the thumbs, you know, but that will happen when you pull hook, but that felt more than fine for a first set. Who knows, maybe 
now that we've had our fun with bench, we're gonna have like a same type of glow up on the deads, and they're gonna feel like fucking crazy. Cause, I don't know, I'm overthinking. Like I said, Ryan's missing, and I'm kind of in that mentality of like, I gotta train to get strong and to be able to save him. And that's why everything feels so light. Ever since I stood into that mentality, I've been feeling fucking strong, bro. Ryan, just hold on. I know you're scared. It's tough. Probably dark where you're at. You know, when you don't think that I'm coming, but I am. I will save you. After I train. That is a good ass motivation, bro. I don't even listen to this shit for the uh, music, dude. I literally just like watch it and then keep this imagery in my head. And that's motivation for me to lift. So now we can change the song, listen to something actually good while keeping that image in our, in our brain to motivate us for the second set. Shit is all powder, bro. You are going to love what I do to you. So one more set, um, like I said, last set lifts, that was our time to get used to the new weight. So we already did the 510 for a three by three straight through. So now we're gonna add on weight and start that uh, progressive overloading. It's too quiet, it's too quiet. Start that progressive overloading for those last sets. So uh, since it kind of is a restart, reboot, we're not gonna pin on anything crazy. Um, I'm gonna just take off both of these shits and pin on a 10 um, and do 515 for this last set. Fuck it, bro. We are Embracing our insecurities. Take it all in. I don't care anymore. I'm secure with who I am. But please go easy on me if you do decide to say something because I'm not all the way secure with myself yet. Slate 515. We only took off the five and 2.5 and pin on a 10. So a little five pound increase and we're gonna hit this up for a slight five uh, to finish up today's straight training. And yeah, if it feels good, that's an absolute W. You know what I mean? Cause that means we've gone through three whole sets with adding on weight to that last set, fine. You know what I mean? Focusing on what we knew too and just moving the weight good, having it feel good. Stay.
She won't listen unless I sometimes get rough with her. Bro, that fresh hook grip pain, sure, it's different. But no, that was good. The weight felt good today. I felt like we were able to just dial in on what we needed to work on, and that we made progress with working on what we needed to work on. Just staying tight through the whole movement, getting it off the ground quick. Fluid motion, and we got stronger. We got stronger for Ryan, so we will be able to come and look for him uh, after today's back session. So all around W day. <laughs>